Uh, for our terrible crimes, we go to jail. Wow. <laughs> the prisoners running the freaking asylum. What the hell? I'm not supposed to be attacked by these pathetic inmates. Why are these miscreants not behind bars? This is already a terrible lack in protocol. Hey, yeah, 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 okay. I am now fully stranded because dungeons do not let you teleport out. So we are stranded completely in this jail. I am truly now suffering from all my crimes. I guess the only way out it is through the flesh of these filthy inmates. Let me just obliterate, commute their sentences, if you will. They will be transferred to the most maximum security prison, which is the grave, from which they cannot escape. Oh, yeah, yeah. Really enjoying the backhanded swords. They are, they are definitely my favorite new type of weapon so far enjoying it quite a lot they're just i don't know there's something they're not wild like the fist weapons they are a little too uncontrollable the, the those those uh, wild fists they strike this really nice balance of attacking quickly having a badass very controllable moveset and i am super into the ash of war the ash of war is super great i love dodge plus attack i don't need the attack to land i am fine with the attack not landing if it means that the giant attack that was coming to my cranium about to plaster it in seven different places in the scenery it doesn't come to actually do that you know it's uh, super great so hopefully there will be something that outstrips the fun that i'm having with these weapons but for now, they're going to be our main tool of destruction as we go forward. I'll probably switch around once boss fights come around. You know, I need to go into something that a little more familiar and also a little bit more voice intensive. A little bit of a heavier weapon to obliterate the opposition. I've always been a fan of the great swords and colossal swords and that kind of stuff but for the time being these backhanded mall ninja utensils of death are where it's at baby that said not a, a great idea to use the ash of war in this environment while i can just go off the edge usually there will be a monster on the on the ceiling when you go what the hell is this thing did I just come into flicking Bloodborne? What is going on? This is horrendous. I need to see the moveset on this thing. Al? I thought it would explode. I thought that it would explode into death, but no. It is just it just squirts someone is <laughs> disgusted partially. What is this body horror monstrosity? That is absolutely disgusting. It sprouted a tentacle from its loins and it wanted to penetrate every one of my cavities. Not sign up for this. The more that I come in here, the more I see that the guiding of Melika, uh, Melika, of Mikola is sorely lacking in this forsaken land. This guy came in here, he started shedding body parts, didn't give a crap about making the Shadowlands a better place for their inhabitants he don't care it's all about whatever nefarious crazy objective this fella had don't know what the deal is but either way i am ready to do some parkour let me just uh do some sweet jumping check me out who dies here complete incompetence truly people that have no idea how platforming works in elden ring come on buddy it's not that hard. You just gotta calculate those jumps carefully. I think this is just a walk. There you go. Hey, there's some warrior jars at the bottom here. Let us uh, put some more electricity upon these gigantic swords of doom. 
Oh, <laughs> the last one. The last, the last one was animated. What the hell? Taking the greatest nap, thinking about all the warrior spirits within my bosom. Reliving all the battles that I devoured. Some living jar nonsense going on here. Now I'm like looking at every jar. It's like, are you gonna come alive? Are you gonna be the one that is going to start rotating into madness? Oh, here are some more of this filth. This me just eliminate it before they become absolutely disgusting, truly disturbing creatures. Cannot have a freaking Souls game without some disgusting body horror. Why must you be like this, Miyazaki? Why couldn't it be just the flower people who throw beautiful bouquets of roses at you? No, it had to be the disgusting, postulant flesh mass that sprouts tentacles to go into your anus. What the? <laughs> All right, buddy, you're just taking it into comical realm here. Are you trying to make me giggle? Are you trying to just make me laugh at these unfortunate buffoons who throw their jars at you? What in the hell? This is some bullshit. Alright, get rid of you. Carry on. Can you open this nonsense? You don't have the right? Yeah, yeah. You, sh you people sure love to write the same old nonsense. Welp. Really wanted to carry on forward. They even warned me, be wary of trap. I was not wary of trap, and now look at me. Stuck down here in Jarland. Where is the Pontentate? Well, you need it. Frozen maggots. At least they provide lunch. Carry on with my nonsense here. I am sure there will be some kind of horrible monster around a corner. As they often do. Lost Ashes of War. There's another Jarfella. Let me get allow it to obliterate its own cover. He just pushes me very rudely. <laughs> what the name of the animation? Rude push. Rude push. Like, nah. Get off my personal space. Oh man, finally a hug. I've been, I've been jonesing for some comfort. About time somebody takes me into their sweet embrace. Appreciate it. Very nice. Let me get my blue juice back. I think I just went into a massive circle, didn't I? Sure did. <laughs> this is silly. All right, these damn jars are quite a labyrinth. I think this is the way I'm going. I'm jumping over here. Let me go back this way. There seems to be a possible dead end. Smith and Stone 6. I only have uh, 1,500 of those, so I'm glad that we do a plus one right there. I think that way is the dead end, and this way is the way forward. The path down the stairs, so let's come this way. I really want to reach the top of these jars. Doesn't seem like I can, though. Obliteration. Gonna maybe jump on the crates before they break. Throw the crap out of me, buddy. <laughs> the spirit of ghosts long past. Another potentate. The thing is, it doesn't show you the new recipes. That's something that it's missing from the new the updates they did. They really should show you, hey, look at the new thing you can craft. Excuse me? Get another one of you, huh? You appear to be incapable of reaching me, and we're going to leave it that way. I guess I'll go down this way. There has to be a way to get on top of these jars. There must be. Over here? Oh! Can you? Yeah! Alright. Progress is being made. Eventually we'll, we'll go around to the loot. Right, this is a dead end. I don't think I can get on top of that. Well... <laughs> this is stupid. Baha, we found another path. What the? <laughs> it's just silly because they are such 
a non-threat. You know, they are slowly whittling me down, so eventually I'll run out of heals. But... They're not intimidating in the slightest. Very nice to find another hefty pot, though. Really have been neglecting... This. Oh. Hefty freezing pot. Me, um... I am crafting. Let me just create several fire pots so far. I only have two. My inventory. Oh, that's it. That that's all I could do, huh? I don't think I can reach. <laughs> I can. Yeah. This place is me. Inner meat. Exactly what I was looking for. It seems like the top of the jars has nothing. And I don't think I can reach it. I think I am ready to go down the path that I saw earlier. There it is. It took a while to find it. <laughs> this is quite the labyrinthine jarberg over there. I guess my hands are not soft enough. Where are you? Destroy you! Silly. Plain jars. Everything needs to die. Huzzah! You cannot stop me. You cannot stop me. The incredible super ninja. Oh! I was out of stamina. Oh, you're dead. Buddy, I beat the greatest among you. The great Alexander bit the dust in like three hits from my incredible might. You stood no chance before the mighty butthole. Alright, another one of these. Very disturbing. Oh, you go descend into the abyss. Alright, I'm gonna make all of you guys break your cells upon my body. Alright. Nasty. Nasty. <laughs> Please stop. Seriously, disturbing nonsense going on. But so far, ow, I am extremely non-threatened. Like I said, they are slowly women whittling me down. It is not a trivial threat when you take them in the aggregate. Seems like you can go down that way, but uh, is it death? See, it would be kind of silly, right? To test it? You guys know I'm gonna. Aha, there's a jar over there. And this, just looking at this, lets me know there's jar elevators. Is it a jar elevator? I think it is. I'm going to just, uh, for science, for science, See if we have a jar elevator right here. Wow. Looks like that ledge leads nowhere. I am the greatest scientist of all time. Butthole is too smart for this dungeon. Oh, it actually goes back up and down, huh? Do you move? No. What is this? Could this be a lift? It don't move, though. Okay, this is actually a little challenging. Be careful here. Whew. Secret entrance to some kind of nonsense. Probably just taking me back up, huh? Oh, come on. What the freaking hell? <laughs> uh, what a disturbing little jail. This is not a jail. This is a storage facility. For fleshy weirdos. Great jar. Certainly we will explore what the great jar does once this idiot is disposed of. Ow, ow, he super slaps. Do not underestimate the super slap, especially when I am actually <laughs> cornering this little uh, pathetic cubbyhole. What kind of jar have you given me? Probably is one of the... No? No, it's, it's not super heavy. All right. Jar, and then the great jar. A great jar which fits comfortably over the head when I'm turned. A tire of shamans who perform their worship at jails. Increases the power of throne pots of all sizes. They offer their prayers to the inners of the great jar such that they might be reborn one day into sainthood. This is the cycle of death and rebirth taken into the hands of mortal men. How wonderful. Put a jar on top, become metaphysical. Truly is... Not a silly hat, it is the embracing of, of a whole philosophy. Truly impressive. Well, 
I didn't want it to be up there, but cannot do it with uh, with these clumsy feet kicking these boxes into oblivion. Hmm. What you got? What's it always trap? That's the place where we were. I think it just connects to it, huh? It, this was just a little secret. And now we are bound to go back to that area? Mm, maybe not. Maybe not. Does not move. Does not move. Yep. Oh, this seems like the beginning. No, no, no. We were here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were here. And then we just go across. Ooh, I realized that was a gap. All right, then we go across to the to the jar elevator. I mean, not guaranteed to be an elevator. We could simply just walk. Yeah, we just walk off the ledge. So I just guessed the jar elevator thing completely with no evidence whatsoever. All right. I'm liking some green fog. I mean, green yellow fog of death. Fill me up with buffs, baby. First try. Here we come. Blessings boon. And protection will reserve judgment. For now, we'll just go with a boiled crab. Give me that sweet stuff. And you know what? We're gonna, oh, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to put on the hefty pot. Hey, Demi Human Sauce Master, Sword Master Omse. He one of these. 600 damage, huh? Uh, he just grabbed me and threw me. Okay, that was very rude of you. <laughs> Holy crap! Incredible! That was truly impressive. It's freaking Yoda. We have a episode, frick, episode two clone attack of the clones kind of creature over here. <laughs> what the mighty swordsman! I seem to be completely incapable of landing a single attack on this fella. The thing is, he also seems to be incapable himself of landing an attack. Okay, he actually did it. You just don't count on my incredible Ash of War. Get stabbed in the head, scum lord. I mean, it, when you land an attack, it's easy to continue staggering the crap out of him. Oh no! Yup! <laughs> What the Soros Master incredible attack here. Here, eat one of these. He did not eat it. Ooh, he's doing a lot of damage. Frostbite, you say, huh? Mm -hmm. Hard to land an attack when he's just an incredible monkey. Get wrecked. Okay, super spam, super... Oh, he parried me. That was incredible. Well done. Oh, is that the... Woo! Oh, he has a tooth! <laughs> oh, truly amazing. This damn... Oh, wow. Well, saved by the... Oh, I am out! Yeah, buddy. You're just truly impressive. I earned that by being a coward at the very end. This filthy Bok descendant truly disgusts me. He needs to be put out of his misery. This piece of trash will not humiliate me twice in a row. I honestly, I'm flabbergasted by this development of having a stake of Marika right outside the boss fight. This is not souls this is not how it's supposed to be you're not supposed to be like this you're supposed to run back for 70 hours for another chance at greatness this is just not right this is weird uh i guess we'll we'll just go physical protection because even though it does have frostbite he also has some serious some serious physical attacks i might as well go with full there you go. All right, give me my runes back, you scum lord. That was half a level. You're not going to take away from me. I mean, he does get super staggered. Wow, well done. <laughs> there goes my bubble. Really need to spam this a little bit more. 
<laughs> the poor bastard is guarding that. I am completely breaking... <laughs> I'm breaking the AI with this attack. Cheese! He's like, I can parry everything, except this incredible Ash of War that I am spanning like a maniac. That was pretty cool. This uh, Melania apprentice who needs to get destroyed. He didn't count on my incredible ability to spam one, one attack over and over. Get wrecked. You could not withstand the amazing power of my Ash of War. And then it returns to entrance, huh? This was the strangest jail of all time. Is, th is this just a place to contain the incredible demi-human demigod? Truly amazing. <laughs> Alright, I probably missed quite a few paths. And in fact, I'm going to go back in there. And I'm going to uh, make sure those places where I fell, they don't constitute a really nice piece of loot that I missed. But you don't have to watch it though. I'll let you know if I find something interesting. I did find one completely inconsequential piece of loot, but I never talked to this guy. Oh please, not the jar. Anything but that. I swear a living sign I'll surely be. Please you must forgive me, please. There's a bee-like torture. You can read that in, in Nicolas Cage's voice. All right, let's see if we can find something actually interesting. Something I did notice. There's a platform down there. I don't know how to reach it, though. I don't know if I can reach it from here. Let's continue jumping a few jars. It's pretty close, but can I get there? Oh, look at that one. Oh. Oh, oh, no! <laughs> I think that counted as landing. Yeah, it did count as landing, but uh, missed it though. I'll be, ri I'll be right back up there. Carrying all these runes, might as well spend them before I fall to my horrible death and then fail to retrieve them. It's gonna happen. This is gonna happen. I'm going to go into the platform and it's going to do something incredibly valuable. Come on, buddy. It's not hard. It's not that hard. You just need to not touch the chain is the problem hey got it baby all right move to the edge yeah give me the most incredible piece of loot you have ever found it's even guarded by these fearsome guards truly intimidating are you gonna it's even in a chest nasty <laughs> nasty one I am sure that your crimes made you earn the jar prison. Ooh, what might it be? It's another hefty crack pot. You know what? Ate me mad. I can make four now. Look at that. Ooh, four out of a bajillion that we're going to find. Done with the weirdest jail of all time. It is time to at last move on from this entire area. We're gonna cross the giant super bridge. Ah, back to overworld exploration. Some people poo-poo it. It's like their least favorite, but I love it. I love working through the overworld. I enjoy it more than exploring a legacy dungeon. Don't get me wrong, I enjoy both, but I actually like the overworld better. Just having the freedom, I know this is gonna shoot up. <laughs> you know, I've been zigzagging. Working on being a, a sinu sinuous pattern of behavior, like so. Cannot stop me, bitch. I am a very veteran survivor of ballistas. I don't know what kind of soldiers are these. Like, who do you fight for? You buffoons? I have provoked the serious ire of a squad of idiots. Let me, uh... Make sure that they all get zapped to oblivion. What, you thought I would simply carry on my life? No, I'm going to... Take your entrails out of your bodies. And I will fashion a beautiful color from them. Oh, look at him. 
screaming in rage. I too would be mad if I was faced with the Lord of Chaos himself or herself. As he had, he just did. Truly traumatic experience. I would, I know, he would to acquire bolts. I have so many freaking bolts. Lord Sworn Bolt. I want to go. It's, it's equipment. I have. No, they're just in the inventory, huh? Let me see if we can get rid of some of these silly ass bolts. I, arrow. How about you discard all of them? Bolts. Bone arrows. There's the bolt. Bolt. Discard all of them. I need more space for more bolts. It just drives me crazy not being able to pick up uh, loot and then get a freaking dialogue in my face. Get rid of that garbage. That way everything is as it should be. Okay. Holy crap. <laughs> I don't know why I'm fleeing. Just being a pussy. Whoa. All right, maybe there was a good reason to flee. This super bunker creature has the incredible power of Elden Ring camera <laughs> being a real problem. The Elden Ring camera is really fighting in his favor. Let me take this battle somewhere that I am not severely handicapped. He's so excited to see me, though. Ready to visit pain upon my person. Backstab. No, I deny you. Pretty badass though. Really like those knights. That uh, armor is super cool. Alright, this is a dangerous place. Let's go the golden vow ourselves. I swear allegiance to the golden order. If only temporarily, just give me the buff and then we'll talk about it when it's over. See ya, I see ya. Fire Knight's cookbook, huh? I'm going to get the best Legion stew ever tasted by mankind. Just add a cheese, a hunk of tough pork. What is going on here? Are you guys worshipping the fire? They're weirding me out. Nobody can withstand the incredible Ash of War spam. Will you burn my ass? No contagion ahead. Okay. <laughs> that was kind of funky. Kind of bizarre development. I don't think that fire is warm at all. You people are just idiots. Alright. Now that we found here. I, I, I certainly feel like I have not seen everything that this encampment has to offer, though. Another fellow. Oh, bu burning dog. Dead dog. Give me your axe. I like your axe. I want to have it. No? Alright. I need to go into each and every one of these tents. I'm gonna. Okay, I seem to have depleted that side. Really? I go that far? Where, where am I go? Where am I right now? Oh, look. Side of Grace. Oh, that's where I came from. I was completely turned around. Might as well go get the Side of Grace. And uh, I'll be back to explore the entirety of this camp. Ooh, that is uh, another legacy dungeon right there. Do you see the little trace? Castle front of blue that says that I cannot be mounted? Well, clearly, this whole encampment needs to be explored. It is not permissible to not walk into each and every one of these tents. I'll tell you when something interesting happens. Ooh, perfumers! Respect, respect to your fiery ways. And in fact, I respect you so much, I'm going to say that the flame must protect me. What are you fellas doing? Get this guy. Oh, I burned. Not so tough now, with my incredible flame protection. Stop using bubbles. <laughs> you coward. <laughs> Die. Oh wow, aren't you powerful? Let me just stab you straight through the screen. There you go. Miranda powder. Mm -mm -mm. Something to get me high after all this high effort. I'm gonna snort the crap out of that powder. I'm going to be tripping balls, eh? Hey. 
chest. What you got in there? Super. Seems to be uh, a new brand of perfume. What's that the deal with that fella? Oh, he has a horn. No, don't. Don't. <laughs> you just got loaded. It's time to get out of here because that probably just brought 70 enemies to my location. We're going to take it easy. You know, you want to be careful. Maybe not. Maybe it was just this remaining perfumer who's ready to be a coward. Who the hell do you think you are? I'm the only one that runs away strategically. All right, well, I guess the trumpet man was completely worthless. Did I just go into... Sure did. Just a massive circle. <laughs> I sure did. All right, let's continue scavenging everything I can possibly find in these tents. There should be something delicious. There was absolutely nothing on that side, but hey, Marika is here. Headless Marika. I'm about to get Marika's head. Another skibbity tree fragment. Very happy to find those. More damage for me. Less damage for my enemies. Works out very nicely. Alright, well, I'll continue going into these tents. Surely there's something worthwhile. And each and every single one of these tents, I've found absolutely nothing. Not even a tiny morsel. Not even a tough hunk of meat to gnaw my teeth upon. So I guess we're going this... Uh, more of these, huh? More of these filthy trolls. I've had enough with fat positivity. I already slaughtered the disgusting gathering all over the other place. You are dead. You're completely dead. You filthy nasty ass garbage fatso. Constantly barfing your blood at me. Truly disgusting. I am full of hepatitis and AIDS right now. Absolutely gross. So anyway, I don't really want to go into the legacy dungeon because I just did another one just now. You know, previous episode or whatever. So, let's explore the northern part of the woods. Murder every one of these filthy fatted, fatso trolls. And there was some kind of weird stuff going on over there with some bridges and perhaps even a hanging man. I am curious as hell to see what's over on this side. Some scaffolding. There's a fellow over there looking mighty badass. Am I about to get utterly trounced by this fellow? Oh, no. This guy takes a beating. Get destroyed, though. No, it's just a dude standing there just looking badass. It's just yet another... <laughs> just another warrior throwing firebombs at me. Who the hell do you think you are? I could go up there with my horse? I'm just gonna run straight at you, buddy. Whoop. <laughs> <laughs> I can horse, yeah? Yeah, I can definitely horse. Uh, wow, you suck ass. Please, <laughs> stop falling off, though. It helps a lot. Well, I don't fall off. I am so full of hubris, I'm about to get a fire pot to the face. Smitty Stone 4. Uh, you fellas are a little too pyromaniac. Just cool it with the explosives. Because I, too, can throw out one of these at your head. Don't test me. Ah! Alright, buddies. It's over. It's Jover. You're going to get absolutely destroyed by my wrath. Maybe, you. Okay, maybe it's a bad idea to be fighting right under the fire pots. Stop it! Go straight to the face. Yeah, this is a terrible idea. This is a noob trap. Stop fighting. Stop fighting in this location. I do want the piece of loot. But what I'm gonna do... Is rush toward it. Yay. A smithing stone 3? This is a... A cliff, buddy. Oh, are those explosives? I should have I should have blown up just now. <laughs> All right, give me some light. Give me some light. All right, I need to find out what's what's at the bottom of this horrible trough, this slow, this terrible cliff. 
It's just the unknown. I don't want to go into the unknown. I thought I would just be exploring a dead end. And indeed I am, aren't I? No, I'm not. Oh, man, it's just like literally a different region, huh? Let's go into it. I am not afraid. I am not some pussy that just turns away from the darkness. I embrace the darkness. Militia men, really? Bruh. <laughs> uh, one of the lamest enemies in the game, I think. The, I may be alone feeling this, but I really don't like fighting these guys. They're just annoying. And they have so much power. At least they do in the mountaintop of the giants. They're such an annoyance. These guys, though, seem to be taking it up the ass, though. They are absolute trash garbage. Thing is, there's no map here. Oh, but we can actually find the map. <laughs> it's just traverse these cliffs. Don't worry about Torrent's hoofs. He'll be fine. Okay, I'm actually going the complete opposite. I was like, is that a rune bear? <laughs> <laughs> no rune bears here. Let me just keep going down this path. Go to the light. Alright, we have found a dungeon of some sort. You fool, you have not developed the incredible technology of iframes. Pathetic. <laughs> Something died. Ow. That's just mighty rude. Oh, there's still buffoons back there, huh? Hey, eat my frost, bitches. Oh, they, they can come in. Very good, Eddie. I'll just uh, make you into popsicles. Are you done? Yes, you are. Pathetic. Give me the side of grace in these catacombs. I was like, oh, let me not go into the castle. I want to explore a dungeon. Here I am in a freaking dungeon. <laughs> Being a total idiot. Will these dungeons be the fun, cool dungeons that you get at the end of the game? Like, you know, the ones that loop around are like a headache to navigate and all that stuff? Or will we get an ulcerated tree <laughs> at the end of a straightforward path? I guess we will find out in the next episode.